Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. Today we're making a key for a Mercedes R320. Uh, first things first, we have our uh, IM608 hooked up to the XP400, which is going to do our actual key programming and decoding itself. So the first thing we need to do is start the vehicle, or power on the vehicle. And we're going to try to automatically decode for Mercedes. Which probably won't, we'll probably have to manually enter it. Oh, it did. So we're going to go to smart mode. Hopefully you can see that there. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. We're going to do on vehicle. All right. We're going to hit yes. Confirm the information. We're going to go to add a key and we're going to begin. All right, programmer has been connected. Oh, let's see, something's not right here. Oh, not all the way in. Let's try that now. All right, please put the ignition key close to the programmer for check the remote detection. So we're gonna go here. Just gonna hit a button. The ignition frequency cannot be detected. On match key frequency will cause loss of remote key function. Do you wanna retest? Yes, we do. We're gonna hit this. Okay, we're just gonna cancel that, but it's still gonna work. Please insert the ignition key into the IR keyhole on the programmer. So let me zoom out here a little bit. So this is the IR hole right there. So we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna hit okay. It's gonna communicate with the key. It is a smart key. Number of pre-existing keys is a key, smart key, yes. We're gonna hit okay. Please insert the blank key into the IR keyhole on the programmer. There's our blank key. Hit okay. Communicating with the key. All right, is there a key password? Yes. Do we know the password? Uh, no. Pass or press located in the password calculation process. All right, so <clears throat> now we have to follow these steps. Insert the ignition key into the EIS for five seconds. So you just insert it into the actual ignition for five seconds. So we're gonna begin. Okay, so it is in there. Let me zoom in a little bit. Pull the ignition key out. We're going to hit OK. Insert the ignition to the EIS and wait two seconds. Please confirm the key can be turned to the on position. It is in the on position. Click OK. After pulling this key out, insert it to the IR keyhole on the programmer. Pull it back out. Okay. Put this into the IR programmer. We'll hit OK. Now it's gonna should calculate. Now you will have to be connected to the internet. So we are going to hit. Uh, we are going to, at this point, we're going to connect to the internet because you have to be connected in order to uh, copy the password. So we're going to pause right here and we're going to connect to the internet. All right, now we're connected to the internet. So we're going to try again. Hit yes. Going to download the data. Now, this usually takes 10 minutes per cycle. You usually have to do two to three cycles to decode the password. So we're going to pause right here. And when, after it decodes the first time, it will actually make us run through uh, inserting the key again, or it should. And we'll come back here in just a second. All right, so some time's elapsed. It already calculated the password. Uh, you can see what our password is right there. Let's see if we got that in focus. Hopefully you can see that. So we're gonna hit okay. Please insert the ignition key into the EIS and wait for 30 seconds. So we're putting our key back in the ignition. Off camera, obviously. 
I'm gonna wait 30 seconds. Alright, password calculation has been completed. Press OK to return the key addition process. Proceed to the next step. So we'll hit OK. So it's going to generate a key file. Please insert the blank key into the IR programmer. So down here, insert the blank key into the IR hole. We're going to hit OK. I'll write the key file. Key addition completed. After pressing OK, check the new key can be norm or can be used normally according to the instructions. So we're OK. Insert the new key into the EIS. Now we'll watch the indicator lamp goes off. If the key learning is successful. If the red indicator lamp stays lit, try inserting and removing the key for several times. It's still not working. The key has failed. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the camera and we're going to try the new key. All right, so we have our new key. We're gonna go ahead and put it in. Turn the key to the run position. Now we're gonna start the car. The car has started. The only anything left to do after that is test the uh, remote function of the key. Uh, I've had them fail when it goes to read originally, and they've always worked. So if you get that message, probably not a big deal. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty easy to make a Mercedes key when you have one original. Uh, we will make a video about doing one with uh, all keys lost uh, at a future date. If you have any questions, comment below.